let's look at some directory navigational commands in the command prompt window now in this line of path you can see that i have this path which consists of this line and this is the local dixie this is a user's folder and this is the username of this computer system therefore this particular folder is a folder that is a parental folder in the local dixie while this username which is also a folder is a subdirectory of this folder therefore in this case if you want to get access to this folder which is the user's folder in this line of path we have a navigational command that can allow you to do so and that command is to type the cd dot dot and when you hit the enter key this pushes you to this particular folder therefore we have navigated from this current directory to this previous directory now in this case if i retype this command i'm going to get access to this i have a command that can also allow me to move to this particular directory so this command is known as so the command is cd and the backslash if i hit the enter key this also moves me to this particular directory which is the local dixie and that is where our windows operating system is installed so in this current scenario i have showcased you two navigational commands of directory that can allow you to move to previous directories or folders so we have typed this command and also typed this command now in this case if you want to move forward we need to identify the directories which are in this local dixie therefore we have a command that is going to display all the directories in the local dixie and this command is known as the dir now when you hit the enter key you have these directories available and then when you move below we have the volume and also we have all these options displayed here we have volume in drive c and also we have volume serial number and the directory of c is what we have here we have the perflux we have the program files we have uh, the users folder and also we have windows and also we have the total element in this current directory and that is the five directories available which are one two three four five and this has been totaled and that is what we have here five directories so this is the directories in the local dixie now that we have this it means that we can easily access the users folder so what command are we going to use and the command is the cd command after typing the cd command we press the space bar and type the users then we hit the enter key now this moves us to the users folder and as compared to the previous line of path we have this command here and we use this command to move to this particular local dc so now that we have this in this case we can also type the dir and this is also going to display all the directories in this particular folder and we have the btc tutorial channel and that is the subfolder of this particular parental folder when we move upwards this is the folder that we just navigated to the previous folder so in this case if you want to have this what we can also do is without manually typing we can click and drag to select then we hold ctrl plus c on the keyboard you can also press the enter key then we type cd space then we hold the ctrl plus the v on the keyboard now when we press the enter key we have this line of path activated so now we have our full line of path whenever we open the command prompt for the first time there's another command that can also help you to navigate and that command is the cd forward slash now when you hit the enter key this cd forward slash jumps you straight forward to the local dixie this means that it is going to ignore all subfolders and parental folders in this line of path then get straight forward to the local dixie that is the command cd forward slash now as usual 
we can use this command and then switch back to our normal line of path by using the up arrow key now we have our normal line of path in this case i want to access the desktop so i'm going to identify the directories in this current location so now in this current location these are the options available and i have all these directories appeared to me and the total directories in the btc tutorial channel are 14 directories we have the contact we have desktop we have document we have so many options here we can choose from to perform a particular tax now in this case i want to access the desktop to perform a particular option so we are going to type the cd command press the letter d and i can use the tab key to navigate through this directories and if i get access to the desktop i'm going to press the enter key now i have the desktop activated if i want to move backwards i can use the cd dot dot then you hit the enter key now in our previous operation you can see that when i type the dir for this particular location these are the directories that we had we also have different ways of viewing directories in a particular location so we can use this command you type the dir with the space bar then you press the forward slash symbol with the letter w when i hit the enter key this is going to display my directories in a wide mode so you can see that comparing this list to this particular list this looks a bit different we have these options displayed in a wide mode and still at the end of the day we have 14 directories that is what we have here we have the total directories as 14 as compared to the previous one that we had in this current operation so this command helps you to display your directories in a wide mode so we have all these options we have the contact we have the onedrive desktop so this matches the same action performed in the previous command now the next navigational command i want us to utilize is the dir forward slash letter s now after typing this command You can see how this operation is performing in a shuffling mode and also in the faster mode why because this command is going to display parental folders subfolders files and any item that is involved in that particular location so look at all these files that has been displayed to us and all these files and folders are located in the btc channel tutorial now if i get access to the desktop and use this command which is the dir forward slash letter s when i hit the enter key now this is going to display all files and directories so you can see that we have all these files here which are excel files and when we scroll up these are all items on the desktop background so this particular command allows you to display all parental folders and subfolders including any item that is involved which can be a video file a picture file a text file and any other file involved so that is a special command the next one we can utilize is dir forward slash the letter b when you press the enter key this particular command is going to display a bare format so in this case we have only this particular folder which this has displayed this particular folder and this folder can be found on the desktop let's switch to this particular tutorial channel 
and then we are going to use this command now when I hit the enter key this is going to display all these directories to me and the function of this command is it needs to display only directories to you and that is going to ignore any file or links or apps that are in the same location so you can see that it has displayed only this list for me and all this list are of directories so we have contact we have the desktop documents downloads favorites we have all this available to us and this is arranging them in a bare format option this command is going to list all items found in this particular location and in this location you can see that previously anytime you type the dir you have the files and folders available and also you have time and dates allocated for those directories and files but in this case using this dir forward slash b this command has helped us to display only the directories and the files and we have ignored the dates and time if i move upwards you can see that here we have dates time and also description of whatever we have here but in this case this has revealed all the directories and files and also other items ignoring the dates the time and other items so this is the command which is perfectly used especially if you want to notice what items you have in a specific location the next one is dir forward slash letter p when you press this this also displays your items as compared to the dir command and this gives you your date your time your description and also the items involved and when you compare this to the normal dir you can see that this is the same thing but the only difference that we have here is the letter p added to this command but this command and also this command performs the same function so these are the directory navigational commands i want to share with you in this particular video and they are very important you can imply this in your daily activities whenever you get access to the command prompt in your comfortable zone